Hey there, in this video we're looking to um, enhance colors. I hate saying the word make colors pop, but that's kind of what we're doing. Um, we're just trying to kind of like lift some of the colors. So we're going to take this image that we've been working on and ready, oh, just kind of richen it up, especially the background stuff. This image here, ready, one, two, three. Ooh, colors are definitely enhanced and maybe some popping going on. Now this technique is after levels is one of the first things I do. So uh, step two in my fixing up my images is levels first, which we did in a previous video. And then I look at vibrance just to kind of lift and raise some of the colors without going too far. We might've gone a little too far in this image, but that's okay. Let's learn how to do it now in Adobe Photoshop. All right, to get started, we're gonna open up two uh, files from that same folder called O2 Color. I've got open Vibrance 01 and Vibrance 02. Vibrance 02 is from Malvistida magazine. Um, great, so we're gonna have Vibrance 1 to start with. And what we're gonna do is, in our adjustments panel, we're gonna use this one here. It looks like a kind of a V with a gradient in the middle. It's the Vibrance um, adjustment. Click on that. Now I just mentioned that Vibrance is a good replacement for saturation in most cases. Okay, so if you have dabbled in Photoshop before and you use the hue and saturation slider, okay, saturation is fine, but Vibrance is definitely better. Why is Vibrance better, in my opinion? Um, Vibrance, what it does is it looks at the image, okay, and let's say the, the shoes are quite red already, okay, but this um, kind of colored boards in the background are quite washed out. So what Vibrance does is, watch this, if I drag up saturation to the top, kind of to get this really blue color in the background here kind of popping, um, this red has to be oversaturated, okay, and gets too much. So I'm gonna turn that back to zero. What happens with Vibrance is, watch this, when I drag this up, you'll notice that the blue in the background gets better, but it leaves the already saturated colors alone. So it's just a, a generally just a really good, uh, I don't normally drag it up this high. Um, I've got this example just because we've been using it already. Um, let's have a look at the O, uh, Vibrance O2. Okay, so same thing. Um, I've got my adjustments panel, I'm gonna go to the Vibrance, and watch what happens when I drag up the saturation. It kind of, like, I'm going way too high right, I'm going all the way up to 100. But you'll see the greens start getting quite strong and the blues come out of here. Let's go down, up, down, up. Okay, but the problem is, is these colors that already had a, quite a strong color in them, okay, get, they start becoming kind of, I don't know, surreal or hyperreal, just a bit too saturated. So let's leave this here and crank up this vibrance. And you'll notice that the greens are the leaves. You might not notice, so I've got it up to 100 and I'm gonna turn the eyeball on and off. You'll notice that like the blue in here really came on strong, which is cool. And the leaves got a, a warmer kind of green in there, but you'll notice the bag down here, or at least the, the colors in here in the, I'm gonna call it a scarf, and um, they get a little bit more, but not as much as these. So it's more like uh, the already saturated colors just get a little tweak, and the ones that are just quite weak in terms of their color saturation can it, get it lifted up. Okay, to match some of those more saturated colors. All right, that is going to be it for Vibrance. You can use both of them, Vibrance and Saturation, to go completely overboard. But that is it. All right, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, Vibrance.